Hello everyone, this is Dawn with TwiceYearedSheep.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut out a person. Um, this is a photograph from a my latest pattern, which is a pair of mittens, the Gnomes in Love mittens. And I'm going to cut out our lovely model here so that I can place her on a different colored or a white background if I want to later on. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I when I I'm going to cut something out. I'm going to try first with my quick selection tool and choose select subject. If this works, it shortens my time so much. If it doesn't, that's okay. We can use a different method. So we're going to choose select subject. Because this is on a um, different background, I didn't know whether it would work out well, but so far it did. So we're it selected our person really pretty well. And we're going to choose select and mask after that. Okay, so we can see that it's not perfect. You know, we've got some edges that are having some issues here. We're going to, um, let's move our radius in a little bit, maybe. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see what that does when we move our radius in is it's how far into the subject it moves that edge. So you can see right here along here that when it's all the way down, it's a real harsh edge right here. We can kind of scoot it a little bit and it kind of feathers in. It scoots it in just a little bit. So I think we'll move that in just a little bit. We're going to smooth the edge. Maybe it'll get rid of some of those hard lines and I'm going to feather it just a little bit which makes the edge somewhat transparent and that makes it seem like it's not quite such a harsh line when I put it against a different background. All right so I'm just going to kind of clean up the edges around here a little bit. It's not very smooth so I'm going to take my paintbrush and you notice up here it has a plus and a minus. So the plus, it means that I'm adding something to the section. So if I paint my paintbrush over here, it's going to add it in. If I hit the minus and I paint my paintbrush, it's going to remove it from my selection. So we, um, I want to just kind of run that minus along here just a little bit. And kind of clean up some of these bumpies. Make it a little bit smoother maybe. Ooh, zoom in really big. Okay. All right, clean up this a little bit. Um, particularly where I can see, you know, this really dark background. We don't want that in there. Take out that little dot there. All of this kind of dark gray cast right here is going to show up funny against a white background. So we're just going to take out that little bit of shadowing that we've got going on here. Okay. Okay, so you see this gray shadow that's all along this edge? That's going to look really weird. So we're just going to take that out. 
with our paintbrush here. Okay, now we've got some choices to make. We've got her hair that's kind of coming down here and is billowing in the black area. We can just delete that or we can try and kind of work around it. So we can make our brush super tiny and come in here and delete some of this. We can also use our refine edge brush and on the plus and tell it that we want that hair in there. And so kind of brush that back in. And it'll kind of make everything else transparent around it. It's a little bit gray. And it's not a particularly harsh line, which is nice. And so we'll just kind of refine this in here. And it kind of takes out the background, which is nice. Uh, if you switch to the minus, it'll kind of bring stuff back in. Take our brush again, kind of clean up right here, make it nice and smooth.
Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure how I feel about this hair. I may just go ahead and delete all of that hair. Um, if you want to change your brush size, you can either click Alt and then right click and just drag one direction or the other. I think we'll just delete that hair. I think I'd rather it just be smooth. Okay. Now I think we're going to maybe move that radius a little bit. There's a pretty hard line up here on her head, and I think that'll kind of soften it a little bit. Maybe delete this hair right here. Just kind of that outer edge. Uh, maybe feather everything just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. She looks pretty cut out. So now we choose our output method. You can just choose a, um, a selection, which will just select that whole area and you can delete um, everything else. But I really like a layer mask simply because I can adjust it later. So we're gonna choose new layer with layer mask and click okay. All right, she's all cut out. We're just going to check and see how everything looks. Um, we're going to put a new layer behind her with some color. So I'm going to select my background and choose this little icon down here that's a new layer. And we're going to find our bucket tool and we're just going to put a color behind her. This, this gray looks pretty good. So we're just going to place our bucket right here and fill the background with gray. There you go. You've now cut out your picture. If you want it to, if you want to now save it so that it is um, see-through, I would go ahead and turn off the eye the eye button on each of these bottom layers. Save as, and you want to choose a PNG. A PNG um, will let you have a see-through background. All right, there you go. She's now ready for you to put on any kind of a background you like. Uh, move her around and she's ready to go. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.